We are back today on another episode of Pack Attack, and it's our first episode after the first roster update of the season, and we'll get into how that makes our team different in a second, but first I want to go back to last episode, because we're up to exactly 50 likes, which means we get exactly 5,000 stubs to put towards our packs after the game today. We also added another chunk of stubs to the stub bank, another 4,605, which now brings our stub bank total total up to 28,847. So let's talk about the offense first. And one of our newest additions was Silver Kevin Kiermeyer. He went down from a 79 to a 77, but his fielding didn't go down at all. He was still only on the team because of his fielding. I had already said anything he does at the plate is just a plus. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult to do something at the plate with him. And then also Christian Walker over at first base. His overall didn't change. I know his hitting stats kind of jumbled around a bit. I think he got a little bit of a boost to clutch which is good. I think it took away a little bit of his power against lefties, but evened it out with a little more against righties. Isak Paredes, in contention and maybe just is our best player so far. He went up one overall, but that power against righties goes up to a clean looking 99. I think he also got a clutch increase. I know Bobby Witt Jr. also stayed the same overall and his numbers jumped around. You know what? He's, he's one of our bigger players. Let's actually look how he got changed. So he gained a lot of contact against righties, lost Lost about the same amount against lefties. Power pretty much stays the same, but the clutch got worse. And then you might notice a returning face here in left field. Spencer Steer is back in the starting lineup. He got a couple points increased to his overall, but it's not necessarily that. That's why he's back in the lineup. But it's because Brandon Drury went down from a gold to now a 77 overall, and he already wasn't playing great, and now he's even worse. So we're just going to go ahead and move him to the bench. But I know you see who else is on the bench here because because we did pull silver at the time, Ellie De La Cruz, in the last episode, and he since got bumped up to a gold. But he replaces Jordan Lawler as our 99 speed guy on the bench. He's also a really good bat against righties. And as much as I would love to start him and find a way to get him into that starting lineup, our infield is just so crowded and nobody can move to the outfield except for Christian Walker. And I just don't want to move Christian Walker to the outfield. So for now, Ellie's home is going to be on the bench as our speed guy. We also lost another gold though in Luis Arise he got a decrease I don't even remember what he was at but now he's a 79 he's a little worse then when it comes to our pitching I don't really think any of these pitchers got changed except I think Merrill Kelly went up from an 80 to an 81 and then in the bullpen I think things got a little worse so first of all Jose Soriano who closed out the last game he's no longer a relief pitcher at all he got moved to a starter I thought about just putting him in the rotation but with 65 stamina and it was tough to throw a strike with him anyway he would not last further than like the third inning so I just I'll leave him off the squad so in terms of additions from the packs in the last episode we added Jose Cisnero Ian Hamilton and Shelby Miller we're also down a lefty overall we had four and four now it's five righties three lefties because Will Smith went down from like I think the 76 he was at to a 68 our other lefties didn't fare much better Yuki Matsui also went down to a bronze I think Aaron Bummer went went down a couple overall. John Schreiber did go up to a silver, but that's only one overall increase. I think Shelby Miller went up two, and then Hector Neris went down one. So still, our weakest spot on the team is probably the bullpen, and I think overall it just got a little worse. So I think overall, I don't really know. I think we probably got a little worse from the roster update, but not really by enough to worry about things any more than we already were. I think we were an 81 overall, and we're still an 81 overall. I am excited, though, because along with the roster update, we also saw the second drop of ranked missions for the program. So we're going to start making our way through this program a lot quicker. So that should mean more stubs, more packs, more upgrades. We're also potentially within range of a 600 wildcard rating, which I feel like is way too high with the team we currently have. It might start getting very competitive. It already might have started getting very competitive. We had to come back down 6 0 in the last game. Couple more wins under our belt and we're gonna have to start worrying about playing on hall of fame at any point but that's not gonna be today 
This dude does have a bit of a team on him, though. Where are we playing? We're playing, oh, is this Laughing Mountain? That might not be a good sign also. That might mean this guy's a little decent at the game. 27 and 22 is not a terrible record. It's not really a scary record. Maybe with the kind of team he has, though, it should be a scary record. So we're on the road. We got the plain whites on. Man, I might need to change these jerseys. That is so plain. Oh, and right away? One pitch? Look who came ready to play today. Bobby Witt Jr. with his first hit in a couple episodes, actually. Dude, and then he went with, like, the same pitch in almost the same spot to the lefty. I'll, I'll take my walk, I guess. I thought he was going to be somebody giving me a lot of meatballs, and then he couldn't find the plate. Oh, that is getting over his head. Okay, I did not know. You know what? I'm going to try and get to third on this. 92 speed. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Another walk. He threw like everything was fastballs away and he kept missing the plate. And then, oh, if I could have just gotten under that. Paredes is capable of the grand slam, but I will gladly take a 3-0 lead. We haven't made an out yet. Gotta be something off speed here. Please hang it. He did. He actually did. Perfect, perfect. Straight away center. He's not even going to let it land. Oh, that's the worst. We get plus 36 from that, so too shy of that 600 mark. But now we get to hop into another one and try again. Oh, but before that, we did get Bobby Miller up to parallel one. So now we have an 88 overall for our second game. All right, we just got to hope that I can carry that over into a second game. I hope it's me and it's not just the fact that I that I was facing Jack Leiter because Randy Johnson at a parallel four is not Jack Leiter. I better be the same level of locked in as I just was because I'm going to need to be. Oh, no. Okay. Fastball's a little faster and that was only the two seam. Can't be behind that when he's going to give it to me right there. Oh, and then he... Guess I was only ready for about 94. 102. Kind of blew me away. Go foul. Come on. You, very early, you can't just let that be a foul ball. We, we got to put that in play. I guess uh, I guess on one hand, though, this is going to be Lowell's first AB against the lefty. That could be good. Oh, wait. That might be a hit. Oh, that is going to get down fair. I don't, I don't know about that one. I mean, we're, we're seeing the full spectrum here. We had very early stay in play. Now we got very late staying in play. Oh, you know what? That's actually a really good swing. I just got to recognize that pitch and lay off of it. But that's something to build on. Okay, this dude has not swung the bat once. So either he's very patient or he doesn't have a good eye. Oh, he was way late on that. He might not have a good eye, and he might be leaving a lot of pitches taken over the plate. Might be able to steal my fair share of strikes with some pitches like that one. And we got him to roll over on the circle change. Let's not make the play any more difficult than it should be when you got 99 speed going down the line. Ooh, I was not expecting a swing with how this guy has been approaching his at-bat so far, but I'll take it late on it. Pop fly, 0-0 zero, zero first inning. All right, we've got an inning of seeing Randy under our belts. Things should hopefully start picking up here. And, well, I guess not really. I actually thought I made a good swing on that. Oh, no, I timed up the fastball. We got to put it together, man. Especially if he's going to leave pitches over the meat of the plate like this. Like, I've seen plenty of pitches to do damage on. Wow, dude. I'll give myself some credit for actually seeing that pitch for what it was. But a high and in slider with two strikes that perfectly? It's just cheating. Okay. What we can't do, Merrill Kelly, is miss that spot, because that is a free strike all game. He's giving it to me. I don't even know how that ended up out of the zone. Okay, you know what? Maybe he's expanding his zone a little bit, because I didn't think he'd swing at that either. I'll take the ground out. That's just a little harder hit than we want. There we go. Always go inside to Joe Torrey. I refuse to believe that that man can turn on anything. Come on, Kelly, buddy. Come on, umpire, really. That, that is a strike. Oh, of course, dude. He, he was dialing that in. Late jammed swing foul like two or three times in a row before doing that. I should have just thrown the fastball in. He just wouldn't have gotten around on it. 
Okay, that, that's gonna get us out of the inning. Just one extra pitch. We just had to lose some stubs by giving up a hit, though, because of course we did. All right, Steer. This is gonna be his first at bat for me, not supercharged. Let's see what he does in his return to the lineup. Uh, that'll drop in. I'll take that. We have three hits combined between us so far, and not one have we not been laid on. This has been a bad display of offense so far. Kiermaier, that's going to get over his head too? Sure, why not? Kiermaier gets downgraded. He's still picking up hits. Lefty, lefty against Randy. Bobby Witt? Oh, that's long gone. Yeah, I finally turn on the fastball. Bobby Witt Jr. makes him pay. Finally have the lead. I guess it comes in bunches for this guy. His, his first game, was it his first game? Two home runs? Doesn't do anything in between. And then now two home runs today. Ooh, and I sh <laughs> That was asking for another one. Ah, dude, I, I knew that was coming. I read that pitch like a book. I knew exactly what he was going to throw. I just couldn't get underneath it. Oh, no. Why is he challenging me with that? I turn on the fastball, hit a three-run shot, and then the next two batters in a row, he just gives me the exact pitch, and I don't do anything? If he does it again, I'm hitting this out. There, there's no alternative. Okay, well, I'm still going to get a hit. That was full transparency. That was supposed to be a check swing. One of the rare times that an attempted check swing that's a full swing actually pays off. Oh, and then he got me. That's just that's just a good slider. All right, we're pitching with the lead now, but that can't mean that we get sloppy. Okay, so I guess up and in isn't the pitch that'll work. I, I guess he can be late, or he is late on every single off-speed pitch inside I throw, but yeah, sure, it makes sense that when I throw the fastball in, he's just around on it. There we go. He he was kind of on that. I'm glad he chuck swung, because he, he might have hit that. Oh, Oh yeah, he would have hit that. But we'll we'll pop him up. That was a nice pitch. He does seem to be having trouble with that to righties. Oh, okay. I, I guess if for the most part he's late on every pitch I throw, throwing that cutter away that normally gets people early and rolling over on it is just going to be very hittable for him. Oh, you know what? I guess with some of the hits that I was getting, I can't really complain about that one. We just got to squash this here. Oh, he's taking off for... Hey, get him trying to go to third, maybe. No, he's just going to go right back to second. This is how it happens, isn't it? Every single time when both people have trouble scoring early and then the first person scores, it just opens the gates for the second one to score. It makes no sense. What changed? Okay, I, if another one got back up through the middle week, I don't know what I would have done. At least we still have the lead. It's just, we're not safe. Oh, that shouldn't have gotten me. That should never be getting me. Oh my God, and now, now I'm crumbling. Now I'm looking real bad. I hit one home run with Bobby Witt, make one good swing, and now I don't know how to hit anymore. We we need the same thing to happen for him. We can't have him building on what he did last inning. He's got to go right back to nothing. Dude, this guy's approach is actually ridiculous. He is not swinging. I don't know if he's swung at a single pitch out of the zone. He's late on everything, but he's on it enough to keep fouling it off until I guess he just makes a good enough swing. Like, look at this. This is all we're seeing here. He is having that exact swing over and over again. Doesn't matter what pitch I throw. I can throw this one off speed. I can throw a curve. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a curve. I guarantee he'll still be late on it. Yep. At least we got an out out of it, though. I kind of feel bad for him. Because, like, if his timing is this consistent, that means he's seeing the pitch as well. He's just a little late to process it. If he can, like, adjust and actually get on most of these pitches... Dude would turn himself into a really good player very quickly, and we that, that went from what could have been a double play ball to now nobody's getting out. Kiermaier, you gotta get to that. Show that range in center field. That is huge, and there's our double play. He took off from first. I don't really know how he didn't take off from second, but I'll take it. See, that's the value Kiermaier has. Not many people get to that ball. That's 99 fielding and 99 reaction in action. Oh, that, 
That's just, I mean, that's impossible. Oh, no. When he hangs one like that and I actually see it to time it up, we can't miss that bat on the PCI. That's got to be Witt's third homer of the day. Oh, no. I put in so much work that at bat. I worked it back from 0-2 to 3-2, and then I sit there and look at strike three. See, that's, that's the problem, though. Like, I would just keep going to the same pitch inside, get him to swing late on it. You'd think that's a good strategy. Weak contact, but no. <laughs> this is MLB The Show. If you go to that sinker inside and get the late swings, you're going to be giving up plenty of base hits just like that and just like this one. It's just, like, what am I supposed to do? I just beat him back to back at bats. Should have two quick outs right now, but now we got to deal with a jam. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have seen that coming. I should have known if we're being honest. Do it again. You may as well complete it at this point. Get four singles on four fluky base hits. Four fluky bloopers. Do it. I, I'll give you the opportunity. Unbelievable. You know, this will be the true test. Joe Torrey. Dude, I have thrown this same pitch. I think six pitches in a row to Joe Torrey. He's been very late every single time that he's swung at least. Look at this. Adjust. Make an adjustment. Pull it. Oh, my God. If that... Okay, we did get there. Okay, that should be a double play. We give up the lead, but I genuinely don't know what I could have done different. We had four at-bats in a row where we got the weak late contact that you want to get in every at-bat, and it was just four hits in a row. It's like this dude either puts the pitch exactly in the perfect spot on the edge or he like misses terribly or it's right down the middle like it's either the perfect pitch or a terrible pitch and you know what i forgot to complain the last at bat i won't complain now that's back to back at bats with me that i've been late i've blooped it in the air where are my hits why can't it go both ways is it purely because of the rating of the starter because that doesn't make sense that Makes no sense why I'm missing that. Why am I late and under that? Well, dude, I don't know. For this inning, the three batters do up pretty much hit righties and lefties the same. So we're going Victor Gonzalez, and we're going to see what happens. Hey, he was somewhat on that. Okay, and there we go. We got the grounder to the other side. At least that one's not dropping in. I just, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to figure something out here because I have not, I, I think I got a hit right after Witt's home run and then I haven't done anything since. That's probably a good sign though, the fact that he paused. Okay, can I get something? I, I'm fine not getting the fluky hits, but I got to get the check swings at least. Uh, dude, just one check swing, please. Okay, if you're not going to give me a check swing, at least thanks for giving me that call. Steer, I swear. Oh my. Okay, I mean, hey, if you want to walk Kiermaier, you can walk Kiermaier. Didn't go well for you last time you had two on for Bobby Witt Jr. Oh, it's not going to go well for him this time either. That's going to get all the way to the wall. We hit that so hard, we don't even need to hit the gap for extra bases with Bobby Witt Jr. Oh, wow. Okay. He takes Randy out. I'm not surprised by that. I guess I shouldn't be surprised he's going to Wagner. He does have two outs. It's just if I get on with Jazz, we got Lowell looming and nope. I can't be late on it. Okay, let's just go to another bronze and see if he works too. It's kind of how this bullpen goes. Just... Throw a new guy in, cross our fingers, and pray. <laughs> I earned that. I earned that with all the fluky bloopers he got. Oh, he's actually early. He is ready for the heat, finally. Are we going to be able to get some things like that? Oh, but we don't know. Please, please steer. Dude, like why? Why does it take me making good swings and scoring runs for him to make a good swing and score a run? Why does he wait to unlock that until I do something? Like, look at that. Now we're right back to this. Okay, there we go. We got him way out in front of that slider. It's just, it's a tie game now. Now the question is, does he leave Wagner in the face of Lowell? Looks like he will. 
You're not going to get many better pitches to hit than that. Okay, I'll take another walk here. Lefty, lefty, we work our way on base. What can we do with Paredes? Yeah, go to a righty, actually. Do it. We got more power with Paredes against the righty, and then Meadows up next. Yeah, there we go. He is going to the righty. All right, come on, lock in here. This is a better matchup now. Get... Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Mmm. No, that's a, that's a good time right there. That's fun stuff. And man, it's uh it's already the ninth inning. I kind of feel like we have to do something here. I don't want to go into the bottom of the ninth tied for him to get some kind of fluky run to win it. Oh, I didn't get up to it. Oh, I was so on that. And you know what? I anchor the PCI up. So technically I move the PCI slightly down there. Like what am I doing? No, dude, no. Run it out, maybe. Yeah. Get down the line. No, come on. Even good late swings I can't get hits on? I am not fond of the situation we currently find ourselves in, but alas, we are here. Oh, I just know how this is going to end, too. I just know exactly how this one's going to end. Kiermaier's going to get to that. He has saved a few runs, probably, in center today. That one's not going to get caught, though. Dude, I can't find the timing with this guy. At least we're going to get an out there. Walker has no arm strength, though. Okay, he's not going to go for it. No, he did not. He did not just win it on that. Please. I mean, of all his late swings i guess that was a legitimately good swing yeah i i did i didn't have fun would have really been nice if that first matchup could have just stuck it out made it to the fifth inning or made it to the point where i mercyed him and then we don't have to play this game at all i i may or may not have been sitting here just kind of staring at the screen for the last 10 minutes because i i don't even know what to say i can't believe we lost that way not necessarily on that last hit itself but just the fact that we were in that situation at all i don't know maybe it would hurt less maybe i'd be less frustrated if that wasn't how we lost our undefeated streak to start pack attack this year. I wanted to win. I want to win every game, but I wanted to win that one. We get Merrill Kelly up to parallel two. I guess that's it for today. All right, but before we can add up our stubs, I feel like there's a few things that we have to clear up because that's the first time so far this year on pack attack that we've had a quit in the middle of a home run like that. So what that means for the stats and how it shows up here is that hole at bat that we hit the home run. Like we hit the home run. We know it left. It was a no doubter. But since it didn't land, since the game didn't transition into the next stage and put the runs on the scoreboard it acts like it didn't happen but we act like it happened so this game one instead of being three nothing was actually six nothing because that was a three run homer but then the same thing is in play as before we still separate these two games so no multi home run game for wit because it was two separate games but then there's two things also that i'm not exactly sure how to count it because like in this first game he quit before i even got the chance to pitch normally regardless of the amount that i pitched if we don't give up a run i call it a shutout for 1500 stuff I'm still gonna do that for this first game. I just don't know if it feels right. The other thing though that I can't believe I never thought about in the past is if I just added it up like normal for our multiplier, we'd have a one game losing streak and that just doesn't feel fair when we got to 10 wins in a row, but we never would have had the multiplier credit for 10 wins in a row. So instead of counting it all up at the end as a one game losing streak, I'm just going to cut that 10 wins in half and we'll basically consider it like a five game winning streak worth of value for today. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to handle it, but that's how I'm going to handle it today. So anyway, now let's get into adding it up. The hitting side of things is going to make us 10,900 stubs. On the mound though, it's only going to be 1,700. And then the bonus category itself is going to account for 10,061. And then obviously we already discussed the winning streak situation 
section. But we now have our first parallel two along with seven parallel ones. So that comes together for a multiplier of times 1.075. So we finished today with a stub count of 24,361. All right, so this is what I went with from that six show packs and two headliners. The logic being last episode, the game went so well and we didn't really pull anything exciting. So this time the game went so bad. So now we're due for something exciting, right? And this Matt Chapman looks kind of insane. But let's get through the six show packs first, see if we get anything exciting out of these. That's not bad. That's a reliever, right? Yeah, there we go. Our first gold relief pitcher. Kind of not a great pitch mix, but he's got a lot of hits per nine. We also, I don't know how many show packs we've opened up total but this is i guess including that first episode that i didn't call episode one this is kind of 10 videos worth of opening up show packs and i haven't pulled a single chase pack out of a show pack so i think we're due for one of those too we also got another gold another one of these golds that works we're back down to a silver and left so not anymore three more of these to go we're halfway through that one's nothing come on man give me a chase pack it just just give me one just slide me a chase pack in this last one here. Why not? What do you have to lose? Okay. We, I guess we got a couple upgrades. We got a couple golds. And we still have... I mean, we're going to pull Matt Chapman. So I guess I can't complain. I've been saying for a while that we've got to be due on the odds. But I never had gone back and looked and counted it up. I just did. We have opened eight. So this will be nine and ten. So we actually are due for a diamond. Not only have we never pulled the headliner player. We've never even pulled a diamond out of a headliner that's changing today not in pack one another silver so it all is gonna rest on pack two what do we have here come on game oh at least be a good gold uh doesn't really help us but all right i guess that brings this one to a close our first loss on pack attack of the year we gotta avenge that next time out so don't forget guys to leave your like on this episode so you can give me a hundred stubs towards the next video and also if you're enjoying pack attack if you're enjoying seeing me complain about the game feel free to hit that subscribe button but thanks for watching another one today guys thanks for stopping by again and i will see you next time